This next Mandela effect continues the idea of being really troubling for those affected. If you don't play video games, this one's probably not gonna affect you. But if you do play video games and you've played this specific game, this might hit you hard. Up next, we're talking about Mario Kart, the legendary arcade-style racing game that people have enjoyed for decades. And today, specifically, the Nintendo 64 version, Mario Kart 64. This Mandela effect has to do with the insanely unforgiving track, Rainbow Road. The difficulty comes from its trackless edges and hairpin turns. So tell me, did Mario Kart 64's version of Rainbow Road have rails along the sides? Yes or no? The Mandela effect here is that so many people remember Mario Kart 64's Rainbow Road not having rails, thus making it a much tougher race. But apparently it's always had rails? The Super Nintendo version of Mario Kart's Rainbow Road did not have rails, but apparently the N64 one did. This seems like an open and shut case of potentially mixing up the games, but numerous people online claim that they have only played the Nintendo 64 version. So why would they know what's in the older version of Mario Kart that they've never played? 